Welcome to Electro Online. Here on this video, we're doing it a second time. We did it before, but I made a mistake somewhere. And we're going to leave that one up so you can see if you can find the mistake. But at least here, hopefully, I won't make the same mistake twice. So let's go ahead and learn how to simplify these expressions. These are numerical expressions. Again, the rules are that we need to do exponents first. Then we get rid, or actually, the rule is that we should get rid of what's inside parentheses first. Then we do exponents, then we do division and, and multiplication, and then we do addition and subtraction in that order. And then if there's a tie, we go from left to right. So in our first example, there's a tie, there's a subtraction, there's a addition. And so since they have the same priority, we start on the left and we first go 22 minus 42. And that gives us a minus 20. And then here we add plus 30 to that. And then this becomes equal to 10. On the next one, we can see that we have a subtraction, an addition, and exponents. Exponents have a higher priority, so we do those first. So here we have 3 squared, which is 9, minus 2 squared, which is 4, plus 5 cubed, which is 125. Notice that this square right here, this exponent, 2 to the second power, this exponent does not apply to the negative sign, only to the value 2 here. If we had to put that in parentheses, and then that negative is included, then the 2 would also apply to the negative sign, but of course not in this case. Then the next thing we do, again, these are equal parties, so we start from left to right. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5, and we add 125 to that, with the solution being 130. On the next example, notice we have exponents, we have subtraction, addition. Again, exponents have priority, so we have 5 squared, that gives us 25. Minus, and notice in this case, we have a minus 10 in parentheses squared, so the square applies to the minus as well as to the 10. A negative number squared becomes positive, but of course this does not apply to the negative, so that remains. So negative 10 squared is a positive 100, and then we add that to 30. Next, we go from left to right, so we have 25 minus 100, that's equal to minus 75 plus 30, and finally when we add these together, that's equal to minus 45. On the next one, we have a division and we have a, an addition. Division gets priority over the addition, so we must do that one first. 30 divided by 6, that's equal to 5. We still have plus 5. When we add those together, we get 10. On the next one over here, notice we have two things in parentheses and they're multiplied together. Even though there's nothing in between, it's implied that this is a multiplication because we don't see a subtraction or an addition. But we must do what's in the parentheses first. So I have 3 minus 6, which is a minus 3. Multiply times 6 minus 3, which is a plus 3. And a minus 3 times a plus 3 is equal to a negative 9. On the next example here, we must do what's inside the parentheses first. So let's do that. So this is equal to 2 plus, we have 3 plus 5, which is equal to 8, minus 6 minus 4, which is equal to 2. Now we need to simplify what's inside the brackets. So this is equal to 2 plus 8 minus 2, which is 6, and 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. And finally, the one down here. We have exponents, we have brackets, we have absolute value signs. So we need to start with doing the exponents first because they're inside the brackets. So this can be written as 5 times 3 minus 4 squared, which is 16, plus absolute value signs of 16 minus 2 squared, which is 4. The next step, we want to simplify what's inside the absolute value signs. So this is equal to 5 times 3 minus 16, plus absolute value signs of 12, and then notice the absolute value sign of a positive 12, or the absolute value of a positive 12 is simply positive 12. So this is equal to 5 times 3 minus 16 plus 12. And now we can add and subtract what's inside the brackets before we do the multiplication, because again, we need to solve what's inside the brackets before we do the multiplication. So this becomes equal to 5 times. We go from left to right. 3 minus 16 is a minus 13 plus 12. And of course, when we add those two together, minus 13 plus 12 is a negative 1. And 5 times a negative 1 is a negative 5. And so, again, 
You will only get the correct answer if you do everything in the proper order. Solve what's inside brackets and parentheses first, then do exponents, then do multiplication and division, then do addition and subtraction. And then we should get the right answer if we didn't make any mistakes. And that's how it's done.